Hey, it's me, your future self. Uh, so if you're reading this or hearing this, congrats. You obviously make it to 38. Um, having said that, please don't go and take unnecessary risks. Um, I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of uh, time travel and fatalism here, but I, just, I don't want you thinking that this is evidence that you're invincible. Just obviously, you know, still play it safe. But I am from the future, so good news though, we become an astronaut. No, we don't. That's a bit cool to say that. Um, look, actually, no, this is not about time travel. This letter is actually about mental health. My mental health, which is to say your mental health or our mental health. Mental health probably sounds like an odd term to you at 14. Um, I know that right now you're a, you're a swirling, big, wobbly mess of, you know, insecurities and secret fears and doubts and emotions that you think nobody else has. Well, now that I'm grown up, I can tell you that is mental health, you goose. Uh, everybody's got it. I apologise for calling you a goose, but I do feel it's important to actually let you know that you do have mental health, like you have physical health and questionable dental health. I'm not an expert on mental health, but I am an expert on you. So you've got to listen to what I have to say. Right now at 14, you're pretty unhappy. Um, you care deeply about fitting in. You're not surrounded by the greatest peer group. I don't remember them as necessarily bad people at all. It's just for you specifically, you, you hadn't found your people and it was difficult. You, you assumed that you had to change a lot to fit in and you spent a lot of time trying to be something else rather than figuring out who you were. Um, having said that, guess what? No one really knows who they are at 14. Um, I do understand that. But you thought everybody had it sorted. Um, but yeah, I mean, they didn't, I can tell you that. No one does. Lots of adults still don't have it sorted. But anyway, at that time, you got very good at wearing a mask, like a lot of teenagers do. Unfortunately, you didn't really know where the strap was anymore to take that mask off. So bottom line, this is not, and has never been a great recipe for happiness. But you didn't really know being unhappy was something that you could speak up about, um, so you continued on. You made bad decisions until you made a really bad decision and the school uh, had a meeting with you and they asked you to leave. It was uh, it's one of those meetings where you're not really allowed to say no when they ask you to leave, more of a tell. Uh, you get kicked out of school. But I remember how big that felt. And I remember after heading to high school with all these hopes and thinking that at any stage you were so impressive you could just be given like several scholarships out of the blue, then suddenly you damage goods. You, you're not excelling at school, um, but you're not being great at being like a bad kid either or a naughty kid because you're too sensitive for that. So you're kind of failing at both of them. Um, but seriously, I, I remember that feeling of not fitting in any world. You, you couldn't eat, you, you, were, you were nauseous. You felt like you'd failed at school and life in general. Um, and I remember it feeling very final too, like you'd done this bad thing and that was kind of going to be it for life. Here's the really strange thing from that time for me though. I really clearly remember begging with mum and dad to try and make the school change their mind, to get me back into the school, even though I knew I hated it. You hate it, like we hate that school. We weren't enjoying ourselves, we weren't happy, but looking back, it, it's kind of clear to me, like that's, that's a great example of how lost I was. We were begging to take a bad deal. So with the benefit of um, future wisdom, here's what is about to happen. You're going to start at a new school and then when you get there, a thought occurs to you. It's a very strange thought. You think, maybe I should just try and be myself. Be myself a bit more. I remember at the time the concept seemed almost crazy. It was a rare flash of insight, but I'm glad I had it and I'm glad we had it because I credit that thought and that, that notion with a lot of good things that have ultimately happened in my life. That idea of just be yourself. I'm not saying that suddenly and magically you were charismatic at this new school and just a rock star and free from all self-doubt and insecurities. God, no. Spoiler alert. Um, self-doubt and insecurities are with you for life, baby. <laughs> but that moment, you took a scary step to, to seeing what might happen if you just let go a little bit. Then on your first day, you met a guy called Ryan on the basketball court, who is still your best mate. Then some other stuff happened, stuff that you would have never stuff that would have never happened if you, if you didn't take that leap or were forced to in our case. You found your people, you never look back. So here is what I'd love you to know, mate. If you're feeling lost, alone or scared like you were, change it up. Right when you feel 
like you're overwhelmed and you want to retreat and take the safe option, that's, that's exactly the time to take what seems like a big risk. And in those times, I know it's hard. So you need to talk to anyone that will give you the courage to be able to make that change for yourself. So I know that right now at 14, you're scared of all the standard stuff, looking silly, failing, not fitting in. But I'm here to tell you that you've got it all the wrong way, my friend. Looking silly is where all the fun is. Failing is where all the fun of life is and not fitting in is where all the fun of life is ultimately. I won't spoil it for you, but you end up in a job where basically professionally you look silly all the time and you have a lot of fun doing it. So that's it from me, Haim. I, I hope that I've... Oh, sorry. Also buy Google shares early and don't book flights for the first half of 2020. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all the stuff I wanted to, to tell you. I hope I made it in under the time. Good luck, champ.